Welcome, my friends. Welcome once again to another episode of GoldenEye Speed Lore. This one is actually going to be insane. Um, I kind of knew all along that at some point during this series of Speed Lore, 10 episodes this year, I was going to have to do Aztec. And Aztec is maybe the most storied of all the levels, really. Um, it's just incomprehensible. And so I knew I could not fit a single difficulty. I couldn't pick a single difficulty because they all have crazy stories. And I couldn't uh, fit all three single difficulties, obviously, into one episode. So I knew I was going to have to make three separate episodes. And I figured, do I want to make three episodes? Um, you know, one of Agent, one of Secret Agent, one of Double Agent? Well, not really, because then you're kind of going back in time on the same level for each episode. So the way I figured I would do it is I would do three episodes of the beginning to about, you know, a certain point in time, then that certain point in time to a next point in time, and then that point in time to present day. So do three sort of splits of time, of history. And so this episode is going to be the very beginning, the origins of speedrunning GoldenEye on Aztec until about 2005. And I tell you, there are some truly insane, truly remarkable things that happen during this story. Uh, it's going to get messy. It's going to get crazy because I'm jumping back and forth between difficulties. Uh, but I think it's the only, it's the proper way to tell the story. It, it, it really is. There's, there's no other way. So, as we get started, let's watch a run of Aztec. Maybe as you would have played it as a kid growing up. You can see here I have Aztec Secret Agent selected. I did this run just before the streaming. And... Uh, Two objectives, very, very simple. Reprogram shuttle guidance, launch shuttle. The thing with Aztec that is so compelling, really, is that there are many levels in GoldenEye where you have the same objectives on all three stages, or even on two stages. Statue is one of them. Cradle is one of them. Egypt's one of them. As it stands today, the statue, cradle, and Egypt record is the same time on all three difficulties. Controls similar um, in that three the same objectives on three difficulties, um, but Secret and Double O have already been close. The thing with Aztec is, at no point in history has the world record ever been the same on all on even two difficulties at the same time, not once. So it's a very dynamic level in terms of how the difficulties make the same objectives very difficult to do. So, let's watch this Aztec Secret Agent run and, uh, and see how it plays out. Really, everyone knows it's one of the most difficult levels in the entire um, game, if not the most difficult. That's why I literally chose Secret Agent because I knew beating on double agent first try might even be too hard for me. Like, that's how insane this, this level is. If you're not well practiced at Aztec, like, you will have struggle to beat double agent. Um, no matter how good you're at the game. And so you proceed through the first two rooms, kill a bunch of guards. And so many of you will remember you have to kill Jaws. He's sort of like the boss of this level. And obviously I'm playing, like, you know, with skill. Uh, you wouldn't play this well as a kid. Um, or as a teenager or as a full-grown adult, whenever you play this game. Okay. You see how it says Exhaust Bay Opening? As soon as I trigger this, as soon as I walk through this threshold, this roof starts opening. And that door behind me closed. So I can't access back in through there. And you're going to see... Um, I'm, I kind of demonstrate to you on this run how how it all works out. So the thing is, in order for me to get back to the black, we call it the black room with the glass door, I have to open a console, and I'll, I'll show you again how this pans out here. So probably if you play this level in the past, you remember this big room. We call this the big room. Um, it's crazy, and you have to slowly creep around shoot the, out these drones, a bunch of guards come running, they get alerted from your noise. It, it's, it's just quite, uh, quite a challenge if you don't know what you're doing. And it's quite a challenge, like, you'll see. This was me two hours ago doing this run, and it, it, was, it was 
way more challenging than I remembered or than I anticipated because I just think, oh, I've been playing Goldeneye for the past months. Um, this will be easy. And no, it's, it's far from easy. And this, again, is on Secret Agent. And I, I took this route to show you probably what you and, and your cousins or brothers would have done um, back in the day. This was the route everyone knew. You proceed through this big room. You're going to have to uh, eventually go meet Jaws, confront him, and then continue along from there. Okay, so now I just decided to demonstrate. I'm coming back. I can't proceed back to this room. This door is closed. So I have to do something about that. And the, what I have to do about it specifically is I have to climb this ladder and I have to... close the ventilation. Let's see, I forget the exact, the exact name for it. It's not referenced in any objective, so it's hard to know. Exhaust bay. I have to close the exhaust bay. Now the thing is, for the shuttle to launch, which is an objective, I have to open that back up. If you come out here and you shoot this guard, and then run over to this wall, Jaws will come around the corner. It makes it really easy to kill Jaws. It's a good strategy if you're playing the level sort of naturally uh, where you go and kill Jaws. With, you know, the most primitive strategies. So there, Jaws is dead. A bunch of lasers to the head. Got the smart card. You need that. So I'm going to proceed. Sometimes you'll for have forgotten to close the exhaust, but you have to do it after Jaws. It's a bad idea. Um, but there you go. Now the door's open here. Come here. Now this is where it's tricky. As the moment you kill Jaws, the moment you kill Jaws, three guards with lasers or double lasers start spawning. There he is. There's one of them. He shot me. I'm low on health, so I left. I'm like, I gotta take him out. And the thing with these guards is, watch this stuff. So as soon as I kill the three of them, I pause. Watch this. Over here. A new one has spawned already and shot a laser at me. That's how fast they respawn on this level. So, like, there are always three double laser guards going after you. It's it's makes it extremely challenging if you don't know what, what, how, how to do it. Anyways, so I, what I did there in the pause is you have to select uh, the guidance data. So you do that. You press Z at this little floppy disk drive. Uh, only 90s kids will remember this. First, I pick up the DAT. You need that for objective B. But there's me entering the guidance data into the floppy disk drive, an external 3.5 mm drive. That's rare. Um, yeah, 90s kids. Objective A completed. Move on through the rest of the level. Now I'm on the lookout for the spawning guards. I believe they would have spawned behind me, back where I killed the R3. Um, but I'm still in the. You got to be careful, especially when you're low health. Um, on Secret Agent, the lasers do one and a half bars of damage. 1.25, one and a half. Um, on double, they do two bars, which is insane. And so I'm up here. Now, I specifically made a show of this. I left the exhaust bay closed. So that you're going to see what happens when you don't have it open. Is that this countdown um, freezes at 10 seconds left right there so I have to open it so basically the way you might have played this level is you would have done exactly what I just did go into this exhaust bay it automatically opens kill jaws come back close it so you can get through to the glass come back put the guidance data in or the, the launch data and then uh, open it back up for basically press the console three times And there we go, Aztec, Secret Agent completed. And you'll see the time of this mission, the, the, um, the target time is 9.30, or 9 minutes, is it? <clears throat> 9 minutes, I beat it in 5.25 there. Um, probably what, you probably would have taken a lot slower, you might have taken more than 9 minutes even. 
that's time 139. Uh, I have 137 on my Japanese cartridge. Um, only because the auto aim is a little bit better there, so it's a little bit easier to play. 139 English is my English cartridge PB. So there we go. That's Aztec. That's how to beat Aztec. So let's look at some speedruns, okay? The earliest speedrun video I could find, which starts one frame into the level, apparently, is Aztec Double O Agent by Sterling Nedlit, the first gold mine champion, one of the guys with the most career on title records ever, 249. Let's watch this run and see where we can improve over time. I don't know why he ran around the pillar, that's just insane. Guards throwing grenades, you have to watch these guards throwing grenades all the time. He... It's just like a, a chaotic mess. You'll see something quite interesting here. He jumps down the pit. This is 1999, remember? And this strategy was known, and you'll see how this all works out. He jumps down the pit to access Jaws more quickly. See, he peeks out there. Jaws sees him as Jaws is going to come running. I mean, it's really amazing that the fact that even video existed to capture N64 runs in 1999. That blows my mind. Like, how did he do it? There was a bunch of headshots on Jaws dead. Got the smart card, and he's going. Yeah, this is this is insane for 1999. People watching weren't born. You realize this. Okay, here's the... There it is. In 1999 and earlier, it was known you could... If you switch weapons to do a warp, which you've seen on other levels, through doors, up ladders, etc., you can warp up the gap in Aztec. This was known in 99 and earlier. And so Sterling made use of this strategy on this record. Warped up. Now the thing is, killing Jaws triggers the laser guards. Makes it extremely difficult um, to complete. Look, he's he already at half health. He has three laser guards spawning. He's going to pause. He's going to open the glass pause. Take out the guidance data. Program the floppy disk. Grab the dat and proceed. And now this is going to be chaotic. Just like lasers being shot, drones being shot. He's peeking out. Oh my god. This is just nuts. Like, this is like just. It has takes always been one of the most chaotic levels, and it, it just it just gets more and more chaotic. And now he now he pauses with full body armor after all that, runs out into the big room, tries not to die, more laser guards spawning. Makes it, gets back in here, and now he hides out with double lasers, which is pretty useful. Unbelievable. And so, as you see the timer count down there, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, there's a guard, almost got him at the end. The shuttle comes up, presses A, 249 can barely make it out. It's amazing on this level, that is the second documented time that beat his previous record from a year before of 455. So, whether or not that was, you know, 455 to 249 was the jump, it probably wasn't. Um, this was the first documented videoed record on Aztec Double O Agent. Um, and it's really cool that we have that still. Really cool that we got that. So it, it makes me wonder if the gap jumping strat was invented sometime in between 98 uh, and 99, and it probably was, but it, it, you're basically digging up artifacts, you know, dusting off fossils and bones, try not to break them uh, while you're looking back this far in GoldenEye history. So, I mean, that's incredible what, what DSX just said. 243 is still a top 100 time level. So... 
18 years ago, Sterling on a time that, you know, 18 years later stands up as a almost top 100 time. Incredible. And what is even more incredible is that the next time I want to show you, the next Sterling improved this to 239. Uh, Steven Jortiz is the guy who's going to come up later in, in, in our, in our uh, episode. He got 242. Sterling at 239 in the year 2000, and then a gentleman by the name of Ben Gorman got this run. Ben Gorman is a guy named, he went by Paragon. He's one of very few eliters to actually leave the elite in history. Like, he kind of disappeared after 2001, 2002, was never seen again. Um, but he was a very talented player, um, very highly ranked in Goldline Perfect Dark. And this is his improvement of the Aztec Double O record. I just anticipate we'll see a, a more smooth run here, a more finely executed run. Some use of a grenade strategy. Getting hit, that was a bad hit there to take. Gonna come back and kill that guard. Yeah, they, I mean... This guy, Ben Gorman Paragon, was known for his insane quality videos back in 01. Um, this run was performed April 22nd, 2001. So imagine, like, this is no frame drops. Like, insane. There is the warp up the pit. You press A to warp up the pit and uh, proceed through the level. See, okay, so what he did there is he opened, you have to press the console, open that mainframe, and he did that before accessing the glass. Probably a little bit of a time save, a little bit, you know, just some more optimizations coming in. Some good kills. Beautiful. Waiting for the explosion. Now it's like, Aztec Double Agent is so hard to live, you're going to grab that body armor. And you'll see about that body armor over the next three episodes. But it's... Aztec Double O is not for the faint of heart. That's for sure. But he gets it, the body armor, runs out into the big room, uploads the launch protocol, barely makes it back to the vents. Oh my god! Paragon! Ben Gorman, what are you doing? Unbelievable. Now he's hiding with the double lasers. Just, that was just shocking. That was a shocking moment in gold by history. Truly and utterly. And there we go. The countdown's done. That was absolutely mad, Sanders. 238. Great run. Really good run. And so, a new record had been achieved. Okay, so let's take a careful look here at the records after we achieve that. So, after Ben Gorman, Paragon, got that 238, the records were this. Sterling had a 157 on Agent. Steven Jortis had a 218 on Secret Agent, and Ben Gorman had 230 on Double O Agent. Now, what's interesting here is that Steven Jortis never really had videos of his Aztec runs, and this becomes massively important very quickly. Um, just remember that. It'll come up again. So... Wouter Jansen, the legend, classic legend. Um, Wouter was one of the guys who really first started pushing this level forward and improving. Wouter would match that Steven Schwartz's 218, the unproven 218, on October 13, 2001. Let's watch that run and see. So this will be 20 seconds faster than the double agent record. So we'll see really what he did. Okay, maybe we won't actually see it. Um, but yeah. 
skips the first guards. That's insane. Honestly, that's just nuts. Runs right off the off the ramp, off the pit. Finally, have audio. By the way, that's nice. Like it's just a, a way smoother run we're witnessing here. So he, he attracts Jaws' attention and then runs away. Um, it was sort of understood at the time, but not fully under like not fully understood that Jaws like runs towards Bond's position, right? If you're not looking at his character model. He runs more consistently fast to you. It removes possibility of him like misstepping or stopping to swat at the fly um, from the things his character model can do. So looking away, running away from Jaws as you're attacking him is significant. Um, I can't really even tell how much ammo he has, and I'm seeing it in a bigger. Yeah, it's. I mean, look, we're in 01. Okay, boosted through the consoles. That's insane. For 01 strategy, that's pretty wild and ballsy. Oh my god, so low health. What is Wouter doing, dude? Good upload, good big room. Goes to the hiding spot. Gets the countdown going, and I'm, I, you won't even be able to make out the time, honestly. You really won't. Yeah, good luck. That says 218. Oh, it does. You can kind of see it says 218. And the video's frozen despite it playing. Okay. Cool. I can't really hate on Louder because he eventually got a lot of very well proven records. And, uh, it's, it's, you know, he was, he got his, he was one of the leading guys in having all sorts of videos early on. So. You know, one poorly recorded run in 2001, I can forgive that. Two days later, he played Agent and got this run. This is our first look at Agent, which will be even wilder than what we see on Secret Agent. And now remember, the last week we, we checked, the record was uh, 157 by Sterling Neblet. Why don't they go to the ladder to turn exhaust pipe? Because... Oh yeah, okay. That's actually a really good question, Hammerite. So, because you are using the pit strategy, you're jumping down the pit and jumping back up. You're killing Jaws without having accessed the uh, launch room. Oh, okay, that guard fell and then we lost audio. Interesting. Um, <laughs> that's a wild run. And so, the exhaust bay is already open, and you don't have to go back to open the glass. That's why the pit strategy was so massive and saved so much time. I should explain that right away. I, I meant to, obviously. That's why I was setting up the whole going back and forth um, with the exhaust bay stuff. But that's exactly what happened. Is I mean, look at him just bl like blistering through, skipping the body armor on Agent. Just nutty, pausing, going for it. So, since the exhaust bay, exhaust bay is open the first time you access it, what the pit strategy does is it makes it so you don't have to go back through to get to the glass and upload the data. You can just go through the level. And so that was just massive in terms of saving a ton of time on this level.
I mean, Loder does something interesting here where he, like, runs around the level after activating the launch protocol. And it's sort of, like, a question of, like, is it better to stay safe in one place, or is it better to run around and, and try to hide and stuff? 156. I don't know if you guys saw that, 156. Yeah, good luck trying to see that. It was a 156. The rankings then looked like this. 156, Agent, Letter, tied 218 with Steven Zwartias, and Zwartias apparently had a 233 double agent. So this is where a lot of drama begins on this level. Steven Zwartias was always sort of known to be an unreliable leader, I would say. I was actually reading his Spear and Wiki page um, before streaming. Before making, before starting this lore, and on his speedrun wiki page, it literally says something like this: He was one of the first players who put his runs on VHS tape to show proof of his achievements and to share his unique strats with other players. Remember that line: First players to put runs on VHS tape and share his unique strats. Just, just commit that to memory. Okay, so. Aztec had become a little bit refined for 2001. People had started to figure it out. But it was, it was known that what if instead of going down the pit to kill Jaws and warp up the pit, you could just get the glass open? What if you could do this? It would save a lot of time. A ton of time. It would save all the time of going down to kill Jaws and coming back. So people tried to figure this out naturally. How can we get the glass open um, without having to kill Jaws? It was like the, the golden game break theoretical. So let's check out a few threads from the era. Here's one from Eddie Lovins. Aztec Strat revealed. And Eddie basically details that he was able to get the glass door open with invisibility. And he wouldn't know at the time, because it wasn't understood at the time, but it was actually very meaningful why you could only get the glass door open with invisibility. Um, but that's January 2402. That's a big start. Um, getting the glass door open with invisibility, we're, we're on the right track to figuring something out. Now, what's interesting is, you know, Lovin's here. I met him at AGQ 2015. Uh, Greg Wall, I met him at AGQ 2015 and, and 14. And, like, these guys are posting in 02, right? So it, it's kind of crazy to think that, like, they've been around for that long. It's insane. And he's shooting down the threads and people are, are talking about, um, you know, Pat, Patrick Nilsson here is still a very involved leader. It's insane. That these guys are still still around, still kicking it. Okay, so I guess Steven Jorty is at this time um, claimed he was able to figure it out. How to get the glass door open. So Weber was kind of bothered. Weber said something like, Hey, I just talked to Steven Jordas, the legendary hide strats and times and everybody known as, you know, you got Aztec Agent 103. It's just a troll thread by Weber. Um, but that's what he does. Wilder, Wilder, you know, says troll things. And obviously a little bit irked that Steven Jortias claims to be onto something and not sharing it with, with everybody. Kind of goes against his speedrun wiki bio about sharing his unique strats with other players. But alas. This one. Interesting Aztec process. Progress. And... Derek Clark, the founder of the Elite.net, is basically talking again about luring guards to the glass door and how um, he's come really he feels he's come really close to getting it open. Um, with invisibility, he can get a guard to open the glass door almost every run. He can get a guard to stand against the glass almost every run. So, like, they're close to cracking this. Really close. And he talks about um, how, you know, Steven Jorty is apparently is... Uh, has been explaining this strategy 
to people. Why has he not had a video of it? Who knows? <sighs> okay, this thread is pivotal in history. Isa Smith, still an active leader to this day, April 19, 2002. He says, Stephen made the Aztec trick work. Yeah, he told it to me, but he doesn't want to post it until someone else but him gets the trick to work. Here are his times. He made it work on double O and Agent. 133 and 203. Now again, like, look back at this. The records were 156 and 233. So he's claiming 23 seconds off Agent and 30 off of double O Agent. Some pretty incredible claims, Steven. You gotta back them up with some proof. Isa goes on to say, he says he got them a month and a half ago. I believe he's full of crap. And Mathai says he's full of crap. I'll check his cartridge to be sure. Um, Lovins determines that checking the cartridge is pointless. You know, yeah, there's no reason for Steven not to come here and post the times. Good point. Why is Isa posting for him? And so they get into a, a, a debate about, oh, Steven wouldn't lie. Mallow, quite the prediction. Again, at the time this happened, we've had a couple of months since the last one I've shown you, the Aztec Agent 156. The records are now 156, 217 by Tim Grenby, and 233 by Steven Jortiz. Neither the 233 or the 217 have video proof. Again, it's early 2002. Is it forgivable? You could argue so. Um, but there's no proof. How sure can we be that these runs exist? <sighs> okay. Things were about to change dramatically. These claimed records... 186, 217, 233 stood for a couple more months until June 27, 2002, when history, truly history in the elite, was made. A gentleman by the name of Brian Bosshart, whom you may have heard me talk about in previous Spieler episodes, joined the elite. And he joined the elite in probably the most remarkable, most incredible of ways possible. He sent an email to Greg Lavery, Captain Zebo, the proof moderator of the lead at the time. The email says this. I want to join the Goldeneye Elite team. First of all, my name is Brian Bossart, and I'm from Minnesota. I found this site about a month ago and decided to try some fast time steel player mode. Without cheats, currently have tied four records. That's pretty good for not having joined yet. All the times I posted are worth over 40 points. Wow, that's pretty good. Got it back in 97. Played through 99. Oh my god, Boston playing so long. Found the site back in late May. Decided to pick up where I left off. Now I'm in 38th. That's a big improvement. So here's his times page. Three stars used a different... Aztec strategy. I discovered a strategy for Aztec that may or may not be better than the current one. Basically, I head to the black room as fast as I can, go to the mainframe door, never killing Jaws at all. I go lure a bunch of guards in the next area by killing the guard just after the mainframe door, and then the first one on the left after turning right. I shoot the whole time to make noise, get four guards to come after me. I head back and wait by the mainframe door and stand on it as it tries to close until two or more guards see me at the same time. As soon as they hit me, I quickly get next to the glass door by the time the mainframe door closes and before the guards are done shooting. I wait until the guards memorize I was next to the glass door. I hide by the computer to the left of the mainframe door. If I get lucky enough, two guards will open up the mainframe door, go next to the glass door, and one of them will open it up because he can't stand in the exact same spot the other guard is. Brilliant. Genius. 
imagine just showing up to a community who's been like debating the possibility of the glass door opening with this. It's actually incredible. Like, there are just no words for it. You know, the level goes like normal for taking out the guards. And it actually goes better because since you haven't killed Jaws, the three double laser guards haven't spawned. So it's a little bit less chaotic, slightly. Makes the level much easier to get under three minutes for a double agent. And, and you know, anyways, he talks about uh, setting up his times page and, and so on and so forth. 10.38, June 27th, 2002. Now, the very interesting thing is this. He had to, like, email someone about, like, you know, forums were new to people back then. Um, nobody, you know, not every person was, was familiar with how to go online, log in, make an account, etc. So he emailed the moderator of the site this stuff, and... Uh, History was made. 30 minutes later. Let's see another post here. Strange Strat. Yorick. Who's Yorick? Strange Strat. Golden 007. I, I asked Boss who Yorick is, and he's like, I'm not even sure. Like, nobody knows this Yorick character. Everyone's like, okay, sure. Okay. <clears throat> Half an hour later. Oh my god, it works. Peter Osterland... Uh, I talked a little bit about him in episode 2. His Aztec strat works. No joke. I don't have a time yet. But oh boy. I will soon. It works and it's so easy to do. So far I have Aztec SA-232. The record was 217. Um, all I can say is Tim Grenby. I feel sorry for you. Tim Grenby had the 217 record. Obviously Peter Oslin knew it was going to not last very much longer. Within a day, a gentleman by the name of Golden Vins got Aztec Agent 155 untied world record when set. He was the first to beat um, one of the records of you know any of the current Aztec records, the 156, 217, 233. Golden Vins um, got 155, and that started the parade of records. You can imagine. A new strategy develops, how many people are playing to try to improve the records, get an untied record. Uh, it's their only chance at, a, at, a, at an untied for some people. Take advantage of it, go crazy, and that's what we, we saw here. Um, another guy who benefited greatly from this was Greg Wall. Here's a thread by Vitor Greg K, uh, Vitor Miranda, Brazilian leader, um, with Greg Wall. Golden Greg's Greg Wall, Greg K is Greg K, Vitor. And basically the thread details how Golden Greg consulted with Vitor about how to play the level. And he kept grinding, kept playing it. This is their aim chat log. And then Greg Wall got 209 uh, on Aztec's secret agent. An 8 second cut off of Tim Grenby's 217. Um, truly a... Uh, like, <laughs> It's just history, and there's there's no video of these runs because everyone's just chaotically scrambling to play it. At the time, you didn't need video footage to um, to uh, to claim a time, um, but yeah, just just remarkable. Well documented in this thread. I will link this thread uh, in the YouTube description for sure. I'll link all these threads that we looked at as well. Okay, the following. Day or that day, we're now into the we are 27th. The following day, we have a thread called this Aztec Stratmaster has finally arrived. Boss joined the rankings with the username Aztec Stratmaster. Hello, everyone. This is Brian Bosshart, who was the first to figure out a breakthrough strat without killing Jaws. I really didn't think I was the first one to figure out the strat when I sent Zebu the email to join. But I didn't see any videos that were pulling it off either. Looking back at my email, it's kind of funny how I thought the strat may have not been better. Again, nice job with the new record, Greg Wall. I guess I'm going to crack in Aztec at 80 points on all difficulties. 
just really, you know. And then it goes on, you know, Eddie Lovins is talking about asking, you know, Vince uh, what he got, what he used at 155. Um, just wild stuff. And, and they go on and detail a strategy a little bit more. Uh, Viter eventually got agents down to 150, um, which was tied. And this is all in the same day. Viter got 150 agents. That's, you know, this guy, Viter. Uh, Mathis tied it. Viter got 205 on secret agent. He beat Greg Walls 209. And double agent was a little bit resilient still because it's such a difficult level to live. Um, but let's watch some runs. Let's watch some runs happen, you know? Um, all this all this chat about this strategy, no runs, let's watch some. Like I said, Mathice Ten Hom, very classical leader. Um, he kind of was talking about verifying this strange claim from Steven Jortis about getting a 131 by checking his cartridge. He was a respected proof moderator of the elite. He got this time here. He got this run here. Um... Again, Viter had 150. Mathis tied it. How many days later was this? The next day, June 2902. Mathis got this time. And he was known for putting these, these trancy songs in his, in his vids. So let's watch. The first time we're going to see a run with a glass strategy in Aztec history. Okay, and our audio is cutting out again for some reason. Good old YouTube player. Yeah, unfortunately I don't think it's Darude Sandstorm, but, you know. Okay, so you can basically see what he did there is like, he did pretty much what Boss said. He came here, killed that guard, shot a bunch of times to lure guards, Killed all these guards in the return. Closed the mainframe door. Waited for a couple guards to see him. Backed up to the glass. Killed some more guards who were coming after him. Left. Went here. Paused for his... Oh my god, his one bar of health. Waits. The glass is open. And now he just goes on. And this skips the entirety of Killing Jaws. I'm amazed he lived this run. This is, this is truly madness. Running through the fire with... Half a bar of health. The absolute madman. Uh, assassin, a lot of the times, weren't proven. People just, like, believed. Oh, this guy was trusted. That's how it kind of worked back then in, in 1999 and 2002 and so on. And it worked like that, actually, for a long time. People kind of trusted that eventually they would submit videos of their good enough records. And, uh, so now the thing is... Mathis can't go to that convenient little corner to hide because there are guards in the way that he hasn't killed and, like, the drones might still be there um, that he just ran through. So it's like, you know, now you're stuck into this area of the vents and this sort of became the, the meta of where to, to stand and act um, on your Aztec runs after uploading the launch protocol. Uh, but there it is. Mathis... Aztec agent one forty five cut off five seconds from Vitor's time and and the time he tied, cutting off eleven seconds from Welder's one fifty six, the record before the glass strategy was discovered. Um very, very shortly after that, Mathis turned to double O agent. This is july seventh, two thousand and two. The record was 228 uh, before the glass strategy was discovered. Oh no, it was actually 233 rather. It was it was um, Stephen George's 233 and um, Mathis. A, a couple of people improved it over that next week, um, but this is about a week after the the glass strategy has been discovered. July 7th, it was discovered on the 20 or, or revealed to the world on the 27th of June, so about 10 days, and this was. Um, a good run that Mathai got. Again, managing the difficulty of double O, killing a lot of guards, that's some bad damage there. Opens the mainframe, shoots this guard three times, six times, uh, shoots some more to lure guards, 
closes the mainframe, stands on it, waits for some guards to see him, backs up to the glass, pretty textbook, and that's how the strat works. Then the guards... What essentially is happening here, and something we, we kind of really didn't iron out until much later, was that the guards are running towards you. It's like the guards, after they stop shooting, they start running towards your position. And the last position, two of them or more have seen you was at the glass. And so they're trying to get to the same spot. They can't. They go around each other. One of them opens the glass door. And it's double agent now, so he, instead of pausing to run past them, he just shoots to take them all out. Reasonable. I mean, it's such a hard level to live. That loses a little bit of time as opposed to pausing and just running through them. Um, but, I mean, some people still do it today. Like, running past guards on Aztec double agent is not an easy task by any means or stretch of the imagination. Grabbing the body armor, taking these drones out slowly. Pretty smart strat. Proceeding through the level. Pausing for the launch protocol data. And running out there. And since he took up the drones on double agent a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more of a reserve strategy, he was able to uh, come back to this high spot. It's kind of dumb of him to actually stand out there like that. That's bad idea, Math Ice. The laser guards can snipe you pretty quick from far away, uh, but none of them come, and he's just chilling in the corner. Uh, like, that's much safer. But again, it was 2002, and we just didn't really know. Um, much better. So, 218 double O agent. Now, I hate to break Mathex's heart. I really do. Wouter improved this time to 207 the same day. Uh, Wouter knocked an 11 second untied off. And beside Mathex, it was 15 seconds untied from anyone else. So Wouter just destroyed Mathex on this level. Um, unfortunately, there's no video of the 207. But that's okay because there's a video of another very solid run. I showed you a 145 agent. I showed you a 218 double O. Our buddy Carl Jobst was not to be left out of this. He nailed this insane run on secret agent. We have 145 agent, 218 double O. Let's watch this secret agent run. I mean, insane quality for, uh, for 2002. Like, man, this quality is insane. It's like almost as good as modern quality. A lot of you probably know Carl now. He's been streaming a lot. I mean, 15 years later, he's been streaming for damn Agent 52. Um, hasn't quite got there yet. Um, but yeah, if you're watching from YouTube and you haven't heard, you know, heard of him or seen his stream, um, go Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash Carl Jobs. Just as, just as TB in the chat spelled it there. Um, I'll link to his channel as well in the description. He's he's worth a follow. He's going. He's trying to become the second gold my player. Whoa, to get partner on Twitch. So, help him out with that. So he's using the risky agent strategy of like running past these guards. A really solid. Oh my god! What the fuck is this music spazzing out of me? Good old 2002 uh, <clears throat> recordings. Oh my god. And just like a very solid. I'm like, what, what song is that? I, I gotta like mute it, but I recognize it from somewhere. But he's just getting abused in the big room. Oh my god, he's going towards Jaws. This is. This is, um. Ugh. Yeah, this is something. Wow. Guards coming on the stairs. And there's the final countdown. That's a risky ending strat, man. And again, it's, it's like not 
uh, contentious, but people are like, what do you do? Do you go into the vents, or do you go somewhere else to hide at the last countdown? 153 Secret Agent, remarkable time, untied world record. Um, Welder had a 158 uh, the day before, so this was a 5 second untie at the time. Really, really solid run. So crazy, crazy stuff, Carl. Okay, so where are we now in the story? Let's have a look. So here are the records as they would have stood shortly thereafter. Um, in July 2002, after the whole new strategy stuff had settled down. Welder took Agent down to 143. We watched the 145. On July 22nd, 02, we got 143. Unfortunately, no video of that. Welder tied Carl's 153, and Welder up 207-00. Um, one problem, guys. One small problem. For some strange reason, Steven Zwartes posted his 131 and 203 that was claimed by Isa back in the day remember this Isa made so on April 19 Isa claimed Stephen claimed these times he didn't post them until after other people had the Aztec glass strategy working for about a month so th this what you're seeing now is an archive of the actual rankings from back then. What you're seeing on this page is actually like the retroactive view. So Welder had the untied on Agent Double Agent, but at the time, everyone was like kind of accepted the charade, or or at least the moderators did. So I think part of what happened here was Mathice Ten Hom, one of the proof moderators. Um, visited Steven Jortes and saw on his cartridge the 131 and 203 saved and he believed it and he po he like updated the, the the rankings to the 131 and 203 um anyway Sim will ask what happened here so Disco Randy Wikima again still active 15 years later Ahem, Steven. Strat, please? Because you can tell that wasn't done with the same strat that we got 143 with. And Carl says he used the old strat, only using one guard, though. Blah, 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 blah. And, and just, like, expert. Steven at 133 and 203 ages ago. He said he would not upload the record. Upload his record site because he did not care anymore about Goldeneye. Where have we heard this excuse before? Oh, I don't care anymore, so, like, whatever. But now, rather surprisingly, he did. He told me he got 131 on Agent without the armor. It's pretty insane, considering the amount of randomness. These records will remain untied for a while. Uh, Valentin Zukovsky. I want to see this guy named Tim Dubovsky, actually. A pretty interesting guy. Pretty cool guy, back in the day. He says, uh, yeah, what about proof? What about proof? I really want to see proof. It's short to believe. Pretty fair, right? And there's a discussion about, like, why why is this on the goddamn rankings? You know, like, like what's up with this? Okay. This all being said, Steven's 131 agent and 203 double agent went on the rankings and stood there for a long time. Again, we were in the era of trust. Steven was a trusted leader. Um, Mathice was a trusted proof moderator. And even though many people were skeptical, everyone was just like, yeah, sure. The 131 is the record, I guess. 203 double is the record, I guess. And obviously, you can kind of tell the 203 was four seconds better than the previous best. Of 207 by Wetter. The 131 agent was 12 seconds better. So that's going to be a much harder time to match. Um, or figure out what exactly happened there. Double agent 203. No proof. 
you know, the 131 is kind of its own thing. The 203 double agent, Stephen claimed, Wilder, Wilder, Wilder didn't care. Wilder said, you know what? Claim or no claim, I'm going to beat that. I'm going to beat your 203 claim. Let's, let's party. The run I am about to show you. When I first joined the rankings and the elite, this is the run I remember the most, being shocked at the most. I found it from watching, uh, from actually a link on Speed Demos Archive. I think it's still the run listed there. Um, you know how quickly Speed Demos Archive uploads and changes things. This run is maybe the defining run of Wouter's career. I'm not, like, joking. This run is insane. Let's, let's watch. Again. Wouter has 207. Schwartz claims 203. That headshot just blew me away. As a young mate coming to the Elite. These headshots blew me away. Six bullets, three and three. Oh my god. The crispness. Look at look at this. No damage taken. There's some damage. A, a small hiccup on that guard. Other than that. Two guards come see him, go to the glass, run away from the glass. This is a really good, like, demonstration of how the level's played as well. Glass open, okay. That runs through chaotically, runs past two guards, shoots us out. Hit by the drone. Oh man, that was actually so good. Blowing up that one drone is like so nasty. Kill some guards, pauses. This is just nuts. Uploads the launch protocol. All this damage. Is he gonna live? Ah! And now, for some unknown reason, Wilder's like goes on an adventure. Like what? Like why? Like, what's this guard shooting at him? What's Wilder doing? It's like, why, go to one spot and hold your place, Wilder. What are you doing, Wilder? Another guard shooting at him. Like, what? Stop it, Wilder. You absolute madman. 156. Double O Agent. Silverin, this run made everyone in the elite's heart skip beats for years to come. I've spoken a bit about Wilder before in previous episodes. Bunker 1 episode, uh, for example. This was probably Wilder's greatest moment. This Aztec Double O run. Unbelievable. 156. You just witnessed it. Like, there's no words to describe what we just saw. I, I wanted to mention as well, I didn't want to ruin the, the uh, flow of the run, of the, of the vid watching. This sound, we love it. Every Goldeneye player waits your play Aztec for over and over and over again. The glass opening is not a consistent thing. I should mention that. It, like, you can have sessions of three hours where you get, like, one or two glass openings. It's not consistent at all. Um, so hearing that glass opening sound is like, oh, you know the run. It's like you're just playing through, going through the motions. You hear that glass, you know the run's on. never gets old.
Never gets old. Um, so <laughs> this is what's insane. The Aztec rankings. If you look here on Double O Agent, this is a screenshot from the archives back then. Welder had 156. Jortas claimed 203. Debatable. The next best time was Randy's 214. So Wouter probably had an 18 second untied with that run. He probably had a 7 second untied over Randy and then made it an 18 second untied. Um, unbelievable. At the time, he had beaten now Carl's 133 on Secret Agent. He got 132 and he had 143 um, on Agent behind Stevens 131. Okay. <laughs> it's just just too insane. So Weller obviously didn't stop there. Um that one fifty six was achieved in March oh three. So again, we're almost now a full year after the whole strategy, the glass strategy was discovered. And people have slowly been playing Goldeneye playing back then you wouldn't really focus on a level for too long. You kinda of dance around here and there. Um make your way back to Aztec. For example, what about that time? Um, the next month, April 03, he got this run on secret. You have to remember, he had 152 secret agent, 156 double O agent. Four seconds lower on double O, where it's so much harder to live. But on April 29, 2003, he improved his secret agent time. He got this, this run. Yeah, it tastes good. We're gonna hear the Aztec glass strat the glass opening sound again on this run. Crazy strategy running the first room, like in hindsight it totally was not necessary at this point in history. Um but Wouter just left nothing out there, man. Like it's undeniable that Wouter's one of the greatest players ever, even though today he's he sort of faded off into um He's one of the few guys who still can't hold up today, for some reason. These other names I mentioned, Carl, Randy, Isa, they still are kind of all active and competing today. Oh, here we go. But, despite Welder's fade into obscurity, runs like this are, are what gave him infinite respect to last the history of Gold Knight. Insane kill. Oh my god, these kills. Oh, louder! I honestly don't even know what he does this run. Has he learned his lesson to, like, sit tight? I think he has. Like, these sort of two lines of hallway are kind of what, even to this day, you you go for on Aztec. Like, literally, like, what happens on this level is you upload the launch data, and you have to wait 30 second countdown and just survive. And it's like the most chaotic 30 seconds in the game. It really is. And there's no single good way to avoid death. Um, certainly that way is better than what Wetter did on his 156 double O. Um, there's, there, like, it's still, people still die on really good runs um, in the vents, we call it, because you go back to the vents there and, and hang out and try to survive. 30 seconds of just terror and chaos every time. Wetter, 149 secret agent, pretty good run. And uh, that was that was an improvement um, over his 152 from the year prior. Okay, next run. So, Welder's been there, kind of dominating Aztec for a while. We're now in April 2003. Welder at 149. Um, he still had 143 from the previous year on agent and he had the 156 double of course so now it's finally time 
for the Aztec Strat Master to really perform on this level. It's time for him to step up and, and do something for himself. And that's what he did. Brian Bossart, untied secret agent. He got 146 in October 03. That's when he started playing Aztec. 146, cut three seconds off the run I just showed you. A month later in November, he got 140 on agent. I mean, getting 146 when the agent record was 143 is pretty remarkable. Um, no videos for those because he would record and then send a master tape off, um, you know, months later. The reason there's no video of 140 on agent is because a week after he got 140 on November 21, 03, he got a better time on the 28th of November, 2003. This run, you could probably call it ahead of its time. I mean, maybe not that ahead, but this is a pretty solid run by Brian Bossart. His third Aztec untitled record. This really is sort of the first run that will show the way, I mean, the weather is what to be 60, but this will also show the way Aztec sort of became played for the next several years. Just getting that guard's attention instead of shooting there. That's an extra guard to lure. There's two guards already coming. Okay, you'll notice right there, Boss is doing the quick pause strategy. I'm not sure I talked about this in any previous episode, but if you... The more times you pause in Goldeneye, in a level, the faster your subsequent pauses will be. And so... At a moment when you're waiting for something to happen. Right now he's waiting for guards to approach. And these moments don't bring themselves up that frequently in Goldeneye. If you pause a bunch of times, or even just initiate a pause and back out of it, it'll speed up subsequent pauses. So because he quick paused a couple times here, like here's one, two, three. Now his next pauses will be faster. And because one of your pauses is in a time when it matters, when like time's ticking, you're not waiting on anything. It's actually quite a useful strategy. And I'm kind of surprised we, we knew this in 03. That's um, pretty remarkable. A lot of firing. So he pauses here. You can kind of tell the pause was already a little bit faster in previous ones, especially the unpause. There's the glass, runs past him. Uploads the floppy disk. Beautiful. And let, now, now focus on this pause upcoming here. Like that was a much faster pause than if you just had paused once. You see? Runs through. Glass breaks. Uploads the data. Oh man, barely hit that. Half a bar. Zero bars. Got 29 seconds to kill, boss. Let's do it. Oh, man! I tell you, we're on part one of three Aztec speed lures. The vents are never going to stop giving, you know? <laughs> These vents will live on forever. Oh, someone's shooting! Ah! Well, the thing is, Cancel, how do you figure out the quick pause strat? 136? Damn, dude. So Boss took Wilder's 143, got 140, then 136. Seven second untied on Aztec um, after a week of playing it. Insane. On Aztec Agent, nonetheless. So Cancel, basically what happens is... The more you play Goldeneye, let's hear screwing around on level, and you, like, have paused a bunch of times, you'll notice how much faster your pauses are after, like... If you pause a... 10 times, I think it maxes out after 7 pauses. Like, that pause is significantly faster, and it's noticeable without video tools. So, once you've noticed that, if you can make the connection that the reason the pause is faster is because you've done previous pauses, you can figure out that it saves time. Just remarkable. So, after Boss was done with these runs in November 03, um... Yeah, the rankings then look like this. 
136, 146, 156. Now, I gotta say, we're, we're closing in on the time frame that I'm covering in this episode. Suffice to say, Welder at the time was not too happy about Boss taking out his Aztec sweep. And suffice to say that Welder at the time had the skill and the means to enact revenge. I think I've queued it up as well as I can. December 5, 2012. A mere one week after Boss's 136 7 second untied. The thing is, Joel, Steven Jortis 131 had not been removed yet. It was still on the rankings. So these guys didn't know that they had the records. They kind of probably maybe imagined it to be so, on Agent at least. Um, but when Boss got the 136, he kind of assumed it was the record. Um, but 131 was the ranked record at that point in time. And we'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, so for whatever reason, Welder's quality reduced. I think the reason is because this is on NTSC. We kind of later discovered that NTSC English is actually the least favorable to run Aztec on. PAL is like, it's a leggy level, not as much as Train or uh, Jungle. But it's a leggy level, so PAL's a little bit better than NTSC. And English is a little bit worse than Japanese because of the auto-aim. Um, there are no extra body armors in Japanese, you only have the one. Look at that vent entrance, just terrible. <clears throat> but Wetter didn't know at the time, he was going off feel, off of preference, just how he felt playing the level. And he decided to play NTSC English um, for this run. And that's why the recording is not as good. I mean, imagine recording NTSC in Europe in 03. Like, good luck having anything resembling this quality. And, like, when you watch this quality, and you think about Mark Rutsu's runs eight years later, know that this is how Mark Rutsu recorded NTSC on a PAL VCR, but the VHS was staticky and rolly, and then he recorded that on webcam. So, like, for this in 03, I think we can give Wilder the pass. One thirty-five, one week after Boss took down his Untied, Welder takes it back. At the time, they didn't really know because Shorty's 131 was still there. Alas. Oh, and Welder wouldn't let Secret Agent go um, without a fight. Here's his Secret Agent run. His response to Boss's 146. Running the first room is totally unnecessary on Secret Agent. I have... No idea why he was so motivated to do it, but he did. Oh, nice dance, man. I, I love that route through the through the floppy room. Like that sort of reverse curve. Boosting. Dude, in 03, these are not 03 strats. Getting the flame boost on Secret Agent through the console. Like, man, that just... That's just nuts, dude. Welder was a madman back then. A true madman. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's alive! Welder! Back boosted, somehow squeezes through. Look at this chaos! This one probably could have been... Oh, look at this leg! Look at that frame rate! Look at that frame rate. It's like, it's like literally going two frames per second. A 
and now here's the fight of his life. One forty five knocks down bosses one forty six untied, takes the untied back, and um that was December twelve December twenty one oh three, nine years before the end of the world. Wild. And with that Wouter again had the secret edge untied, double edge untied, and had one thirty five agent, which was four seconds behind Zwarty's claimed and ranked time. Um but was the best proven time. So, where do we go from here? Let, let, let's have a look at some stuff. So, again, like I say, Wilder 156 00, 145 SA, 135 Agent. Zwartia's time was still on the rankings. Um, and if we look, if we look at this point in time, December 2803, um, how do I put it? In hindsight, this is what it would have looked like, right? 135, 145, 156. But Zwartia's times was still ranked. Okay. Inexplicably, in April of 2004, Four months after the, the the sort of battle between Boss and Water that I just showed you guys, Steven Jork has removed his times from the rankings. I guess there was too much pressure mounting on him to prove his times, and he couldn't. He removed his times. For another unknown reason, Wouter removed his times from the rankings out of protest. I guess Wouter said, like, oh... If SZ's times are removed, George's times are removed, then, like, this throws into question the whole legitimacy of the rankings. I'm re removing my times, too. For a couple days, the ranks looked like this. Boss had all but three world records. <laughs> With Zhortis and Wetter gone. Boss only was missing Surface 2 Agent, Jungle Agent, and Cradle 00. Uh, Boss now had a sweep of 136, 146, two minutes. Um... Jimbo loves this because he's displayed in second place now. Uh, that's the highest Jimbo has ever been ranked. Only because of what are removing his times page. So just like, you just question why did... What caused Jortias to claim a time without a video? I mean, that happened back then. But then not post on the rankings until months later. And then leave it up there for a year and a half. Almost two years... And then, like, randomly remove it. Like, what? Back then, we were... I mean, I wasn't even there. The site was mostly run by teenagers, 16 to 20 years old. Guys in high school and, and early college. It was, it was a game. It was, you know, it was cool to watch people progress and whatnot. But the standards of proof and authenticity... And all this stuff just just weren't there, right? So the one thirty one that Schwartz has claimed was never really accepted to be to be legitimate ever. And I guess he just finally caved into the pressure and just removed it. So here's a shot of the rankings from. April 04, after Wilder's times had come back, and now Schwartz's times were removed. Wilder had all these times, uh, 135, 145, 156, and that's sort of his sweep. Actually, that stood a long time. Let's look at, here's April 04, and here's December 04. Let's look and compare. So, in April 04, actually, can I get December 03? Okay, actually, let's look at these three. So, December 03... Surface 1, 151s, Bunker 1, 24, 109, Silo, 106, 115, 134. Watch when I flip to April. Boss has taken over. 
untied, 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 un runway 22 untied. In like 57 people had it. Boss untied it. Silo untied sweep 107 bunker 100. Boss dominated the game at that point. Like, man, some really nasty times there. Let's scroll down though. Boss still didn't have these. He still didn't match these Aztec times. Um, so this is April 04 we're looking at. Train untieds by Weber still. Jungle. Caverns untieds. Some cradle stuff. We're skipping ahead to December 04. Boss matched a lot of it. Boss matched trains. He took over control. Um, boss couldn't match Aztec. Again, like, December 03. April 04. December 04. A full year, Wouter's Aztec run stood. Um, really remarkable times. So, like, like, probably Wouter's best... Longest lasting moment in Golden Knight in terms of having a really great run, really great records that last a long time. Okay. We've, we're now December 04. We, we've reached the end of the period that I wanted to talk about in episode one of, of this Aztec Speed Lore. I think we did a really good episode. A couple more things to, to show. Um, here's a forum made on the Mario Kart 64 forums. Steven Jortiz was still, he was involved in Mario Kart as well. I don't know why he made this thread there instead of the Elite. I guess he maybe felt like he had been kind of pushed away from the Elite. Too much criticism of his 131 without... Like the, the thing is this. I'm not sure I have the thread pulled up in a tab here. But there were some posts where like Isa said... I might have it actually. Yeah. Look, when he was... Like, this is Aiza in 02. When Steven was here, he didn't want to show me how to do the trick. Like, what? So, like... No one is ever going to rationalize why Jorty has acted the way he did. Claiming 131. Then, like, not wanting to show anyone how to do it. Not showing a video. Just bizarre behavior. He made this from the Mario Kart forums. Um... Sorry I posted on the MK64 board. Many people are talking about proof. We were talking about Aztec. And he just talks about stuff like... <clears throat> Vince and I were talking about it. He talked me into watching the vid of Aztec Agent 136. You are luring the wrong guy. You have to lure the one that is staying next to the gate that is opening and closing, not the one in the back. Okay. Anyways, he talks, chances are so small... This method's faster than you get the 135 world record. He's trying to claim that he still has the world record. This is done on... This is like mid-05 now we're looking at. And... Schwartz is sticking to his guns half... So, half-heartedly. Uh, he removed his times, but he's still claiming that they exist. And people just kind of go, like, boss. Here's boss, just destroying his arguments. Um, you know, Schwartz. In the beginning, it was all great doing Spears of Gold Knight. There was a lot of skill involved quickly and shooting things well, too. And Boss is like, well, there's still a lot of skill and all that kind of stuff. And Jorta just goes on this explanation of why he doesn't want to play anymore, why he's done with Goldeneye, but like, oh, I'm going to watch this Aztec video finally. Just bizarre. I'm not going to go over the whole thread, obviously. I'll link it in the YouTube description. Um, but another strange tidbit of of what happened with, with um, Steven Jortes and the Aztec story. Another thread in the Elite about that thread, uh, Tom the Toad said, here, this done Mario Kart boards, and Isa talks about it, Henrik talks about it, Ilu, this is 05, and all these guys are still involved in the Elite, pretty crazy. Um, Henrik breaks it down really well, though. Isn't it so funny? He's posted four strats, none of them were the same. You know, all this stuff. If we scroll down further in this thread, actually, it's kind of cool. We get to my first ever post on the Elite. Um, September 05. I joined a week or so ago. And uh, it's just me talking about stuff that I, I tried to get to work. And it was nice. 
everyone's like, hey, welcome, Ryan. Welcome, welcome here, Ryan. And uh, welcome, Whiff, welcome. I gotta say, sometimes I'm a little bit um, more harsh to newcomers in the Elite. Um, they were kind to me back then when I was 16 years old, so thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, 19,000 posts ago and 12 years ago. So that's, it's pretty cool stuff um, to see all that. But anyways, ju just some additional tidbits as we're sort of teasing into um, the next part. So, like I say, where we are at now um, in the story, the Aztec records, 135, 145, 156. That's part one. Uh, you guys can see how, like, that was probably the length of a normal episode. There's too much to cram into one episode. So I'm going to be back in probably two weeks doing the next section of Time of Aztec. And then probably at the end of July, I'll do the, the third part and, and final sort of sub part of episode six on Aztec. Okay. There's maybe one more run I should show you guys to sort of tease the next part two. Welders had this untied sweep. For, he got it December 03, he completed it. It was sort of officialized a couple months later when Zhortiz removed his 131. Welder had this for all of 04. The entirety of 2004 he had a sweep. Boss, I mean look at this, look at this rankings. Boss has, I talked about this I think on Train episode. Boss has all but seven records. Bunker 1, Depot, double O, Train Agent, Caverns double O, Caverns uh, Cradle SA, and Aztec, no, no Aztecs. So that's, he's missing eight. Eight times three is 24. That gives him a, a point total of uh, 58, 76. Insane. A uh, 59, 76, sorry, out of 6,000 total points. Um, missing only eight records. Unbelievable. Nothing lasts forever. And it wasn't boss. In February 2005, and this is the perfect run to sort of transist from the unproven, lack of videos, questionable era, Wouter domination era, into the more modern era of Aztec. Henrik Norgren achieved this run on February 20, 2005. And it's the last one I will show you guys tonight. Look at this, look at this beautiful, fast-paced first room. Like that, that stuck on the grenade guard was remarkable. Just so many things going wrong. Look at this bad reload pace. No quick pausing, which is kind of interesting because Boss did it years before, two years before. Pause at the glass. Yeah, I think this music is some kind of like uh, Final Fantasy um, piano version. He put pausing in that vent after this run will, be, will kind of become the meta. Gets the drone boost, a very healthy run, runs right out. You just gain so much more speed running, um, pausing, waiting for the flames to extinguish, and it saves time too. So healthy. Henrik has nothing to worry about. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, Henrik, what are you doing? Really quick 
vent movement. It's kind of a little bit too quick. He lives. That was on double evasion, by the way, in case you didn't know. 155, a new untied world record. Henrik Nordgren ushering in a new era of Aztec speedrunning. Destroying Wouter's untied sweep. And what would actually have been Wouter's last uh, untied sweep ever in Goldeneye. Interesting here too, I mean it has two dislikes for some reason. I guess Mark Rutsu got to this one too. Um, there you go, Henrik 155. February 05, that is exactly where I'm going to cut for tonight. I'll be back in a couple weeks with the next part of this Aztec episode. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. It, this one was, I, I really enjoyed how this one went. I feel like this Aztec uh, episode went really, really well. And I'm looking forward to the next chapter of it. Um, the next era, 05 for the next few years, probably has the most insane story of one person on one level uh, coming up. And it, it's, I was there for it as well. Um, I really got to find all the videos that are pertinent to it because it's, we're going to go on a crazy journey next episode. Uh, a really crazy one. I'm sure many of you uh, will, will join me for that one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Great episode. We'll be back soon enough with the second part, uh, the next few years of Aztec speedrunning. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you then. Stay true.